Nearing game time now at Citizens Bank Park. It's the Marlins and the Phillies, and it comes your way next. With the skyline in front of us, a look at Citizens Bank Park here in Philadelphia. Today we wrap up this four-game weekend series between the Miami Marlins and the Philadelphia Phillies. Buenos dias, everyone. Welcome to this special Cinco de Mayo edition of Baseball on the Show. Alongside me are Eric Karros and Steve Lyons. And Steve, ought to be a decent pitching matchup here this afternoon. Yeah, well, you see the numbers on the season for these guys, and this could be a challenging start for both of them. But we've got the rain coming down here right at game time. And for the most part, that shouldn't change their approach too much. But a wet track could slow down the running game while also making it a little more difficult on the defense. So we'll see how this one plays out. All right, Steve, thanks. We'll hear from EK momentarily, but first, let's have a look at the starting lineup for the visiting Miami Marlins, as their order will read like this. They'll go to work against the most valuable player from the 2008 World Series, the change-up specialist left-hander Cole Hamels. Juan Pierre will get his first opportunity now, currently sitting in fourth place in the National League in stolen bases. And the opening pitch is a strike to the leadoff man, Pierre, as we get things started. Well, this pitching staff has done a pretty darn good job against him in this series. The pitch. Swing and an easy one for the first baseman. And good hustle to get over and tag him for the out. So the leadoff man set down here in game one. And with that... Let's take a look at how the fills will set up on D. It's brought to us by Majestic. If it happens in baseball, it happens in Majestic. Donovan Solano will stand in hoping to turn things around from the loss last night. He was 0 for 4 in that ball game. And he catches the inside corner for a called strike. Nothing in one. Now a ball hit fouled off to the right and up into the crowd. And just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. Ready with another 0-2. Now a swing and a bouncing ball for Utley at second. And a throw over to Howard and that's the second out. And here are the numbers from the last time he was out there. And he took a no decision in that one, but he'd like to get the win in this one this afternoon. So bases are empty here with two gone and set to stand in the ultra dangerous Giancarlo Stanton. First pitch is a circle change for a called strike one. Oh. 
And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. A 2-1 offering. Now a swing and oh boy. Ground balls have ruled the inning. A third straight right here. Throw on to the big fella Howard at first. And with that, the inning is over. So a spotless top of the first for Cole Hamels. Now it'll be the Phillies' turn. No score. Starting lineup for the Phillies is there on your screen. And getting his final warm-up tosses in, the starter who they'll be up against as you see his totals there on the right side of your screen. Quickly a look now at the defensive alignment they'll face in this one. Ben Revere will stand in now. And speed is definitely a big weapon in his arsenal. He currently sits third in the National League stolen base chase. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0-1. Now the pitch. Swing and a ground ball towards the hole. He'll take it to the bag himself, and the leadoff man is gone here to start the home first. A look there at our scouting report is here's what you'll see out of this 23-year-old right-hander. So the base is empty here with one away. And here comes the clutch hitting Michael Young. First pitch coming. First offering to him stays upstairs. It's a ball and no strikes. He couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane to the plate, and that'll be ruled a strike. One out, nobody on. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Pitch on the way. And man alive, that looked awfully good from up here. Three and one, though. Yeah, well, that's, I guess, what you'd call a rule book strike. Technically, that's in the strike zone, but it's a call that most pitchers don't get nowadays. And that one is a cold strike as he's rebounded to run it full now, three and two. And 
And now a pitch on the way. And that's outside. He lost him ball four. That's an easy take right there on the 3-2 pitch. Not all that inviting at all. You want to at least make the guy think about hacking up there. Instead now, he's on with one away. So a runner on first with one out now. And stepping in is the catcher, Carlos Ruiz. A look at Young, now the pitch. Lined hard to the left side. Foul. And a check swing. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. It's ball one. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Now a ball lined toward right center. And that's into the gap for Ruiz. It's extra bases. Around third and being waved on home. And he will score at the plate as the tag from Mathis was just a hair too late. Ryan Howard will dig in for the first time here. Looking to change his fortunes a bit as he's seen that average dip these last four or so games. Too high with the fastball here. It's 1-0. For Ruiz, who picks up his sixth double so far on the year. Oh, and Howard got a pitch he liked there, but winds up pulling this one well foul into the stands in right. And a fastball not close. It's 2-1 and one now. Just getting deeper and deeper into trouble here in the first inning. He's walked one guy already. Now he's fallen behind another guy here. off again ball three he was hoping he'd get him to go up the ladder there but that's going to set up an even more dangerous pitch here on three and one one out and a runner on second base and he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul Hit hard but fouled off to the left and that'll keep you honest as a third base coach. And look out. That's in very tight and it's ball four. That's the second walk he's allowed here in the first inning. And I have a feeling if you ask his manager, he's going to say that that's way too many already. You can't go giving away base runners, or you're going to find yourself in a big hole early on. Chase Utley will get his first shot here. A couple of hits in four trips last night. A decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. And this is fouled back and out of play. Oh. 
Sets the target low here and it misses one and one. This is taken for a called strike. Oh, that's a tough call. Now one and two. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. Swing and a liner toward right center. And he'll have himself a base hit. And the run's going to come in to score from second as they grab a two to nothing lead now. And I tell you what, anytime you get a first inning visit from your pitching coach, something ain't working out there. Now, here's what he's saying Look, we need you to figure this out. We need some innings out of you here. Let's go. Lance Nix will get his first opportunity here. Took an 0 for 4 in the victory last night. Now here's the first pitch. Swing and a line drive to center field. In there, base hit, and that ought to get the run in from third. John Mayberry will stand in looking to keep this first inning rally hot. Now a hard liner, but foul. First is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Freddie Galvis will stand in, getting the start here despite being out of the lineup last night. Good lead off a second there, now the pitch. Too high that time with the slider to start the at bat. It's ball one. Two and oh now. Well, they're taking the smart approach right here. With that base open, you don't need to put them on intentionally, but you also don't need to groove anything. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. At the knees for a called strike, and it's back to even at two and two. Mm, a little conviction behind that fastball. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. And this is going to be a foul ball in amongst the spectators. Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. And 
And pitch number 33 in the inning will be the lucky one as this is swung on and missed to retire the side. So they nearly bat around here as eight men come to the plate and they push across four runs. We move to inning number two here in Philadelphia. It's the Phillies four and the Marlins nothing. Justin Ruggiano will stand in here. He drove in one of their two runs in last night's ball game. And he sends a fastball out to left field and fairly well hit. And on the first pitch he sees, it's a home run. A solo shot here to left as they get on the board. It's four to one now. You just can't throw that pitch right there. That swing tells a story right there. I mean, he got all of that one. Remember, he homered in yesterday's ball game too, so he's riding a pretty good hot streak these past couple of days. Freddie Sanchez will stand in. He comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. That's hard hit back up the middle. And a diving effort there, but it'll come up empty. It's a base hit. Yeah, he hit a good pitch there. This thing's toward the outside part of the plate, but he stays with it all the way. Uses the big part of the field and gets himself a base hit. Matt Downs will get his first shot here, and he certainly had it working so far this season. Up over 350 entering play. Now a ground ball towards the hole. Utley for one. Over to Howard, and indeed they get them both. Oh, and just when you thought maybe you were starting to see a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel, now oh, this one's going to hurt big time. Greg Dobbs will stand in now. He drove in the other of their two runs last night. And a fastball to start things out here. Not close. It's a ball and no strikes. Now here's the pitch. Up oh, top, high. it's 2-0. and oh. Set up away, but the circle change misses outside 3-0. And I think that's what they were trying to set him up for. Going with that change up down in the zone on a one and two count. Very difficult to react to, but he did a great job of holding back. And he misses ball four. And he's saying, give me a break. I mean, that pitch is right there. And I tell you, though, complaining like that is only going to squeeze that strike zone a little more. So a runner at first with two away, and that'll bring forth Jeff Mathis, the catcher. Fastball in there for a called strike. Good. 
Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Right there at the belt, one and two now. A runner on first with two away. From the belt, kicks and deals. And this ball will be chopped foul. get one back thanks to the solo home run. We'll go to the bottom of the second. It's the Phillies four and the Marlins one. Paul Hamels will dig in here. bit high there a ball and no strikes swinging a ball hit on the ground but a foul ball one and one Looked like he was on that one, but it's one and two. Swing and a ball hit to the left side, and this is going to wind up a souvenir. Here he comes again, 1-2. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first out. And here you go from behind the plate. This is a good angle to show how that four-seam fastball will rise at the end. And that's a pitch that's awfully difficult to get on top of. Ben Revere will dig in again. He grounded out to start the home first. Swing and a high chopper. Throw on to first, two gone. Michael Young will stride in. He walked and came around to score his first time. Here's the first pitch to him. And a fastball close, but ultimately ruled a ball, 1-0. Now a fastball for a called strike. It's one and one. Even though that's a strike, that's still not a bad take because you're facing a guy that's already walked a few guys, so make him throw some more pitches. Run that pitch count up. Fastball, and he popped it up. Back into short right field. Sanchez has got it, and the side is retired. Nothing doing here this half. We play two full. 
It's the Phillies four and the Marlins one. Nate Evaldi is ready to go here as we begin the third. In there, no balls and a strike. Now here's the pitch. And this is lifted high in the air down the right field line. But no chance to run it down. It's a foul ball. And they tie him up in proverbial knots there as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Well, always nice to get the inning started against the pitcher, and he sets him down easily for the first out of the third. Juan Pierre will get a second shot now. He grounded out to start the ball game. Third baseman in tight, protecting the bunt, the first pitch. Circle change, too low, ball one. Had him out in front there as he takes strike one on the circle change. Nope. And he misses okay. two and one. And this one will be foul back in among the fans. Out in front as he pulls this one down the line at first. But a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Four to one's our score here in inning number three. And this misses, so that'll fill the count at three and two. Stays alive here as this is fouled off to the right. Swing and a ball headed towards the hole. And this is past a diving ugly at second, a base hit. Well, he needed a hit like this. Got to get him to snap out of this cold streak. I mean, you're just looking for something to go your way. And that ball, it's not hit particularly well, but it happens to find a hole. He's saying, man, it's about time. Donovan Solano will stand in. He grounded out his first time. And here's a fastball from Hamels to begin the at-bat as he climbs ahead, nothing and one.
That's back over, back. but low. It's a ball and a strike. Hey, you watching the same game up here? Check on Pierre. Now the pitch. Grounded to third. This could be two. The second for one, and it's right over his head. Oh, you know this one's going to hurt. If this throws on target at second, they've got a good shot at getting the double play. But instead, it sails right past the second baseman, and they won't wind up getting anybody on the play. Giancarlo Stanton will stand in. He grounded out his first time. First pitch to him. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. And you know, down there at third base, he absolutely wants another shot at a ground ball. Something to try and make up for that error. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. Now a ball slapped hard the opposite way. And this gets on him quickly here and deflects off him. And they'll get the man at third here at least, but in the interim, a run has come in to score. Justin Ruggiano will stand in again. He homered his first time around. Curveball that misses here to the cleanup man. It's 1 and 0. Here's one hit towards the hole. A dive, but he can't get a glove on it. It's through for a base hit. Throw will hold that runner at second, so there are two on now with two away. And this is a situation now on the mound where you can't worry about how you got into it. You gotta worry about how you're going to get out of it. And he's got some work to do now to protect this lead. Two men on, two out. And that'll bring in the former batting champion, second baseman, Freddie Sanchez. First pitch curveball runs in a bit too tight. It's ball one. Well, you know, three straight hits are bad enough, but now he's making things even worse by falling behind the next guy. Now a hard hit ball back up the middle. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. And he's going to score with ease as the throw will be too late. And here's something that they haven't been able to do too much in this series. That's come through with the two out knock. But for their sake, they've got to hope that's a sign that things might be turning around. Matt Downs will be the batter. 0 for 1 here in the early going. And there's the fastball by Hamels. Good for strike one. Yeah, even with two on and two away, this is not a guy that's going to back down out there. He comes right after him with a fastball, and he gets ahead.
fouled off into the seats behind first. A decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. Now a ball hit high and deep out there to left center field. And he will make the catch just shy of the track, and the inning is over. So two runs on four hits, one Philly error, and two left. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. Philadelphia is on top, four to three. Carlos Ruiz will start things out for the Phillies with the dangerous Ryan Howard waiting on deck. Curveball, and that misses in the dirt for ball one. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Probably his best located pitch so far. Right on the outside corner, and that's the spot he's going to need to start finding. Up and in here as he had to bend out of danger. And after that double in his first at bat, you can tell they're approaching him with a bit more caution here. As well, they should. one hit back over the mound near second and a base hit so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning so with the leadoff man aboard to begin the inning let's call on our daily feature this date in baseball history Ryan Howard will stride in. He walked and came around to score his first time. And a fastball's in there for strike one. That's not really a bad take that time. You've got a guy out there on the mound that's had his hands full already, so you've got to make him prove that he can find the zone. Fastball, another cold strike, nothing in two now. And after walking him the first time around, he's all business here in the second half bat. A runner at first with no outs here. And he'll take the fastball here inside off the plate. It's one and two. Whoa, that one definitely took off on him right there. He's lucky that thing didn't go all the way to the backstop. From the stretch. And Howard will wisely lay off that one as it's back to two and two now. Now a ball hit in the air to left center. There to get it is Pierre, and he takes it for the first out. And you know, he's kind of going through a stretch right now where the ball just isn't jumping off his bat. He's got a good pitch to hit right here. Looked like he put a good swing on it, but it just didn't go anywhere. Chase Utley will stand in, an RBI single in his first appearance. Now a 
ball softly hit and foul off to the left, strike one. He's set, now the pitch. And he misses with it, one and one. swing and he pops him up right up the chute this may be tough behind the plate Mathis looks up and reins it in for route number two yeah very tough to get on top of a fastball at 96 and even if you miss it by an inch or two you know this is what the result will be an easy pop-up Lance Nix will stand in, an RBI double to his credit the first time around. Now the first pitch, and a good pitch on the inside corner for strike one. pitch here as Mathis can't even get a glove on it and he'll make it into scoring position here with two away as that'll be scored a wild pitch swing and a ground ball to first and he'll step on first for the out. This side is retired. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. On now to the top of inning number four. It's the Phillies four and the Marlins three. Greg Dobbs will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. And he tries to hold back on the swing, but I think it would have been ruled a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. Now the pitch. And they're going to have a leadoff base runner here as the fastball is lined in to left to base hit. And this is what folks mean when they talk about time in the fastball. He looks at the first pitch just to get a feel for the speed, the movement. And then when it comes again, now he knows how to handle it. Jeff Mathis will try it again. Set down on strikes his first time. Hold strike one on the circle change. Good pitch. Inside. 
fastball is looked at for strike two. below the knees but he rings him up anyway and there's one gone well, this is the second time he struck out so far and this is a type of ball game where you know it's wet out the field slippery it's a little muddy who knows what can happen if you just put the ball in play native Valdi will take a long look down here as he may be bunning to avoid the double play Infield expecting bunt. Here's the first pitch. Looking to bunt here, but he can't connect, and that's the first strike. And low, it's a ball and a strike. Wanting to avoid the double play here as he gets this one down. And the throw by Ruiz gets him, so the sacrifice works just as they drew it up. You know, in this situation, some people may say, with one out, why not just let him swing away? You know why you don't let him swing away? Because he's a pitcher, that's why. All you can hope for is for him to go up there and make a productive out, and that's what he did. Man at second here with two away, and the team's catalyst Juan Pierre's coming up. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. Runs coming fast and furious here. 4-3 our score as we play the fourth. And it's a called strike to even the count at one. Here's a hard hit ball to the left side that'll be taken in out there at shore. Needed just a little more height on that one, but instead the inning is over. John Mayberry will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. First pitch coming. Here's a swing and a ground ball. Well, this is foul for the first strike. Missed low and inside with it. One and one. is hit on the ground down the line to third but this will get foul it's a ball and two strikes
swing and a line drive. But this will be foul. He'll try again, one, two. And that's high for a ball. It's two and two. Ooh, there's a tough one to take right there on a one and two pitch, especially after fighting off so many pitches leading up to that one. Full count, three and two. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. This is one of those guys that you can spend all your time in the video room watching what his pitches look like, but until you get out there and see it firsthand, you just have no idea how much his stuff moves around. Freddie Galvis will stride in again. He struck out swinging his first time. Here's the first offering. And now he drops one down here, and he'll try to beat it out. And a good throw there by Mathis takes care of him as the bunt attempt doesn't work out. Well, I guess that's the one drawback to trying this play in the rain. You can see the mud right out in front of home plate, and that's going to slow this ball way down, just enough so that the catcher doesn't have to run too far to get it, and he throws his man out. Cole Hamels will try it again, set down on strikes his first time. And here's a called strike at the knees. Don't think he liked that one too much, but it's 0-1. Two out, nobody on. Now here it comes. Sets the target low here, and it misses 1-1. One and one. for one and slaps it down the line at third. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Phillies down in order, and it remains a 4-3 game. Donovan Solano will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. First pitch of the inning is taken downstairs for a ball. It's 1-0. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. And the strike zone jumping on him a bit to start the fifth. It's 3-0. and oh. Looking a little off here to start the fifth. Here he comes on 3-0. and oh. That one's in there, 3-1. In there, on the inside corner. Don't know that he liked it, but it's a full count now, three and two. Oh, 
And a good eye here as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. Sometimes this is just what you need. You know, you're in the middle innings now. You can grind out a walk, make that guy throw a few pitches, get him into the stretch. That's where you can finally put him away. Giancarlo Stanton will dig in one for two to this point in the ball game. And he takes ball one. Sometimes you just let a guy work his own way into trouble and then take advantage. Now some movement out in the Phillies bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen. The 1-0 pitch. And that's waved at and missed 1-1. One and one. Wow, what a good time to take something off of that pitch. And they had him fooled pretty good on that one. Fastball bounces up to the plate, and it's taken for a ball. On, oh, and it's Taylor made to short. Six, four, three, and they turn the double play. Well, that's the absolute definition of a pitcher's pitch right here, especially in a double play situation. I mean, not only is this pitch down, I don't even think it's in the strike zone, and that's an easy double play. Justin Ruggiano will stand in. He homered back in the second inning of this one. And this is fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. Hit sharply, but right to Young down to third. Unlucky that time, and that ball will end the inning. Ben Revere will stand in again. A couple of ground outs for him on the ledger in his two trips so far. And he'll indeed try to lay one down, but they're prepared for it. But the throw will be in time at first, so he's denied the base hit on a bunt attempt. Maybe if it's an 80-degree afternoon, this is going to be no problem. But in wet weather like this, there's so many things that can go wrong. So that's nicely done right there to make sure he got a good grip on this thing before he makes the throw. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And here comes the clutch hitting Michael Young. And with Howard and Utley on the horizon here, we'll see a left-hander start to get loose out in the bullpen. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. Well, that rain is really coming down now. That's as hard as it's been all afternoon. One pitch on the ground to second for Sanchez. On the first, and Young is retired here, two away. So bases are empty here with two gone, and stepping in is the catcher, Carlos Ruiz. At the letters here to start the at-bat, but ruled high. It's 1-0. and oh. Well, you're not going to get that call if you've been all over the place. Well, if I'm pitching, I want that call, but at this point, 
No, he hasn't earned it. The next pitch. And this winds up inside for a ball. 2-0 oh now. And he started to go around there, and it'll cost him, as they say. He did swing the bat. It's two and one. Too high that time, and it's three and one. Yeah, this is good patience here to work at the three and one, especially after the two quick outs. But if nothing else, you buy your pitcher a little more time to catch his breath. And this one misses inside a ball. He walked in, and they've got themselves a two-out base runner. Hmm. Tough take there on three and one. I mean, if this pitch missed the inside corner, it did not miss by much. But he's going to reach base anyway. So it's a runner at first with two gone. And digging in, slugging first baseman Ryan Howard. Called a strike on the outer half, 0-1-1. And this is hit hard on the ground towards short. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Freddy Sanchez will be in to lead things off when we return. We're through five here at the ballpark. It's the Phillies four and the Marlins three. There you see Freddy Sanchez now. He'll lead things off here in this one-run contest. First offering on the way. Ball and he'll start the inning with a pitch that misses off the plate. It's ball one. Right. Foul back. in for a strike and he jumps ahead one and two now. Curveball or maybe even the circle change there two and two regardless. Here's the pitch. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. Well, he watched that one all the way in, and it looked like he almost gave up on it. He's pretty lucky that wasn't called strike three. Here's the ball hit pretty well and carrying to deep right. 
And the sixth inning opens with a flyout, one away. And after a hot start, the bats have pretty much gone missing here in the middle innings. He sort of reinvented himself out there and has really turned things around. Matt Downs will stand in. He flew out his last time up. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. And now a pitch on the way. And here's the ball lifted high into foul ground down the right field line. But he will haul this in on the run as he had to go back to the warning track to do it. And there are two away. There you get a look at his pitches by inning so far. Really, the only bad one was that third inning. I'm not sure that he's ever really been the same after that. Greg Dobbs will stride in. He singled in his last plate appearance. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. <whistles> Swing and a bouncer out in front. Throw on to the first baseman, Howard, and with that, the side is retired. So Hamels had it work in that half of the inning, and this remains a 4-3 game. Scott Main will come on now as he'll start out the bottom of the sixth. Number 57, Scott Back alongside Eric Carros and Steve Lyons, Matt Vaskersian, and Chase Utley getting set to start things out here in the Phillies half of the inning. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. And they start him with one high and away for ball one. Here it comes. And he takes a cold strike one. Oh, come on. Mm, there's a good breaking ball down on the inside corner. It's one and two. Good curveball right there, and that just really froze him. Pitch in the dirt is swung on and missed, so he'll need to get the force at first. Throw on to first is in time to get him, so that will go down as a strikeout and a 2-3 to three putout for out number one. First pitch on the way. Lance Nix is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. Four, three, our score here as we play inning number six. 
two and one. And this one's going to bounce up to the plate. An easy take there, and it's three and one now. Here's one hit hard to the right side and caught out there at second. As he'll hang on here to record the second out. John Mayberry will get another shot. Struck out swinging his last time. Now a ball hit hard towards the hole. And that'll get on through into right field for a base hit. Freddie Galvis will dig in now. Hitless in his two at-bats so far. In there at the knees, strike one. Four runs, five hits, and one error in the ballgame for the Phillies so far. He's ready now to pitch. Runners on the move for second. Pitch outside the throw is not in time as he just gets in ahead of the throw. Well, if you steal a base off of this guy behind the plate, you've earned it. He's got one of the strongest arms in baseball, but even he couldn't get it down to second in time. Four runs, five hits, and one error in the ballgame for the Phillies so far. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. Right there at the belt. One and two now. Good hard sinker, but he lays off to even things at two and two. And this pitch is taken high and away to fill the count. It's three and two. Now on three and two, you got to go with your strength. Two out here and a runner at second. And he just manages to stay alive here as he fights this one foul. Good lead off a second there. Now the pitch. And this will be fouled away. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. And the stolen base winds up as a moot point as the inning is over. Philly strand one, but they hold on to a 4-3 lead.
Welcome back to Citizens Bank Park here in Philadelphia. It's on to the seventh inning now with the Phillies out in front, and it's a good time to check out our game summary through the first six innings so far. Jeff Mathis will lead it off here in the top of inning number seven. They set the target in, and this finds the inside corner for strike one. Now some movement out in the Phillies' bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0-2. And I'll tell you, being in a two-strike hole is not the spot you want to be in against a guy like this. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for Revolve. strikes again so get your hats out that's the third strike out of the game well a good pitch there to get the out and looking ahead he's due to lead off the next half inning so in all likelihood this could be the end of the line for him on the mound Logan Morrison will pinch hit here and he's the potential tying run Nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. The pitch. And I was about to call this a strike, but apparently not. It's 2-0. and oh. Now he's going to get a visit from his catcher just to make sure he's all right, but... You know, this might actually be more of a stall tactic here. I mean, his pitch count, it's starting to get up there, so this might just be to buy a little time for that bullpen. We're in the seventh inning now of a 4-3 ball game. And now he turns on a fastball here and sends it to fairly deep right field. And this is hauled in just shy of the track out there for out number two. Juan Pierre will dig in. He lined out hard in his last time around. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. And that pitch count is 88 now, but to me, he looks good to go. Oh. One and one. No contact there, and it's one and two. Well, nothing fancy. Three fastballs so far in this at-bat. He could go just about anywhere from here. Now this is pulled softly in the air out towards second. But right there for it is the second baseman, Utley, and that ends the inning. Miami down in order.
score holds at 4-3. Mike Dunn will get the ball now as he'll take over on the mound to start the home seventh. Delman Young is going to grab a bat now and hit for the pitcher, Hamels. Number three. Here's a fastball up that he sends in the air out to fairly deep center field. And he's going to make the catch on the warning track. A fine running play there for the first out. Um, this is a big inning here. You're down only one with the heart of the order coming up next time you get in. So that's a good first step. Ben Revere will stand in. And they've done a good job keeping him off base at the top of the lineup. He's 0 for 3 thus far. Lefty against lefty here as this is taken for a ball. 1-0. and oh. In there, 1-1. One and one. Now the pitch. Down low, two balls and a strike. Runs up to Bunn here and pops this one up. But this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there. Two away. And obviously, any time you can strike this guy up, you'll take it. I mean, he runs like a greyhound out there. So even routine grounders can sometimes be turned into base hits. Not when you're not making contact, though. So two away now for Michael Young. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Perhaps a little low there. It's 2-0. Swing and a miss. Might have got a piece, actually. It's 2-1. You can hit the low fastball, but you're not going to hit that one up there. You can just forget about it. You've got to make him bring that thing down. And now on two and one, this ball sent in the air out to straightaway left. Pierre is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. So they breeze through this half of the inning. Eighth inning coming up. Phillies on top, four to three. Michael Stutes is going to come on in relief as he'll be making his 20th appearance of the season. Donovan Solano will get us going now in the top half of the eighth. a 
fastball called for strike one. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. But this is back into the seats of foul ball. And they'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Yeah, with the bases empty, that's the right spot for that 0-2 pitch. Make him see if he'll chase that slider. And the pitch. Nope. To two balls and two strikes now. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. And nope, this one falls, so he'll get another shot. Now a fastball is lifted into the air to shallow center. Revere comes on now, and he has it one down. Tight game here. 4-3 our score as we take the opportunity to compare the performances turned in by the two starters. Giancarlo Stanton will get another crack. One for three thus far. And there's his strike right down the heart of the plate, 0-1. Wow. I, I think if you gave him another chance, he'd be swinging at that one. That was a great pitch to hit. Four three, our score here as we play the eighth. Now here's the pitch. And this is fouled back and out of play. Slider, good two strike pitch, but it misses one and two. And this is high for a ball. So from 0-2, he's worked it back to 2-2 now. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. And this is swung on and missed. Two are quickly retired to start inning number eight. Our line score to this point tells the story. You see the Phillies leading this one at home here at Citizens Bank Park as we draw nearer to the end. Justin Ruggiano will stand in here hoping to duplicate what he did back in the second inning as we flash you back to take another look at his solo home run that helped get this offense rolling.
Here's the first offering. Here's a first pitch slider that just tails out of the zone. It's ball one. And the fastball hitting 93 on the gun. It's one and one. Slider is right there. 83 on the gun. It's one and two. And when he's got that slider working the way he wants it, it can be such a weapon for him. Two out, nobody on. And strike three called as he says, you got to be kidding me with the side retired. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. Home half of the eighth, straight ahead. Phillies lead this one four to three. Carlos Ruiz will stand in to lead it off for Philadelphia with Ryan Howard on deck and then Chase Utley to follow. Fastball in there for a cold strike. Now here it comes. And a slider gets away from him here as it just about got him in the ankle. Well, nothing wrong with that. As much as it pains me to say, pitchers have the right to work inside. Called strike and he's behind one and two. Look out, that one almost got away from him. Two and two now. And that's the right spot for that slider. Really try hard to tie him up inside. And that's a good job to lay off, too. Just does stay alive as this is foul back. Fastball called strike three and there's the first out of the inning. Have to think there's a good chance we'll see Jonathan Papelbon try to close this one out as you get a look at what's due up in the next half inning. Ryan Howard will stand in here. 0 for 2 with a run scored so far. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. And he takes a cold strike, 0-1. Oh Good hard slider there, but it runs away. It's a ball and a strike. Gives this a pretty good ride that time, but that's going to be up amongst the crowd of foul ball. And 
and Howard will wisely lay off that one as it's back to two and two now. Here's the pitch. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. Oh, and he struck him out as well, so he's carving right through the heart of this lineup as there are two away now. Well, this is great work by a setup man here. You know, his task coming in was to keep this ball game close, and he's done that all right as he's retired five in a row since coming on in the seventh inning. Chase Utley will be the batter. And here's the first pitch. Ball hit high to the right side, but this will get into the seats foul. Grounded foul. Trying to get Utley to chase, but he holds off. It's one and two. And now pitch on the way. And a slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. Showed him that slider running away two times in a row. Now might be a good time to call him that two-seamer running in. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Phillies four and the Marlins three. Ninth inning save situation, and they'll turn it over to one of the best in the business, the all-star Jonathan Papelbon. Freddie Sanchez will be the first one to greet Papelbon as he'll get things started here in the ninth. Ninth inning underway as the first pitch misses for ball one. On the ground is short. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Well, this is what you want out of your closer. Comes in firing darts, and it's a very quick out, number one. Matt Downs will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Some activity out in the bullpen now as a couple of left-handers begin to stir. First pitch coming. Ball one. Goes with the slider that time, and it's driven to deep right field. And that ball is gone. A home run. 
And he has tied it up here in the ninth. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Seven home runs for him on the year now, as that'll pull him even at four apiece. And if he was guessing up there, he was guessing right because he's all over that thing like a shaggy dog and he drives it over the wall. Greg Dobbs will step in. A ground out victim his last time. First pitch fastball runs a bit too high. It's ball one. And 2-0 as this one's taken low. I think he's letting this situation get the better of him out there. But you have to have a short memory if you're a relief pitcher. You can't dwell on what just happened. And this pitch is inside, and he can't find the zone all of a sudden. 3-0. and oh. Lays off, ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. Mm. He thought he had him right there. You can see him look into home plate asking, where was that? Was it high? You've got to be kidding me. Call's gone out for a pinch hitter as the left-handed speedster Michael Bourne has grabbed a bat and moved into the on-deck circle now. And that swung on and missed for strike one. You don't think there's a little adrenaline flowing out there right now? And this is taken for a ball inside. Don't know exactly where that would have missed, but it's one and one. Yeah, he didn't seem to do him any favors with the previous batter, and now here's another call that goes against him on the mound. Here's Papelbon's 1-1. One, one. Fouled straight back. Now a ball mine to the right side. And Bourne is aboard here. It's a base hit. And I suspect we might see a pinch hitter here. And if that's the case, here's what's left on the Marlins bench. Jeremy Horst will take over in a tie ball game with one gun here in the top of inning number nine.
Rob Brantley will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. And that swung on and fouled straight back. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. And even on one and two now, you've got to expand the strike zone a little up there. You can't go down looking here. You've got to put this ball in play. And this is swung on and missed, so not a productive at-bat off the bench, and there are two away now. Well, that's why baseball is a, a game of matchups. They wait until the pinch hitter gets announced, and then they go to the bullpen to get a better matchup. It's going to pay off here with a strikeout. Juan Pierre will step in, one for four in the ball game. And that misses inside, one and zero. Oh. Blowing away as he misses again, 2-0. and oh. And one thing you can't do here, you cannot lose him and load the bases. He's still got a couple pitches to play with, but I'd expect this one to be somewhere in a strike zone. Lays off a fastball, but it's over for a strike, 2-1. and one. Decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. Swinging a soft liner towards first. And Howard will amble over to the bag for the putout, and that ends the inning. Marlins able to knock things up on the solo home run. We'll go to the bottom of the ninth. All even now at four apiece. Michael Bourne will stay in the ball game as he'll likely do the catching from here out. Number 22. A.J. Ramos will come on needing to get three outs here to try to send this game to extra innings. Lance Nix is set to go now as we lead off the bottom of the ninth. And who looks like he got the call there on the pitch inside. It's nothing in one. Still taking here as he looks at the slider this time, and he's in a big hole now, down 0-2. Uh, you can tell he's still frustrated after that first called strike. It's still on his mind. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's one and two. Maybe a good opportunity here to show him a change up, give him a different look. the pitch and a good take there close but it's two and two good. 
Now a ball hit high in the air and deep down the line in left. But this will land foul just shy of the wall. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. And that will get through into right. So there's your possible go-ahead run on base to lead off the inning. A good job there making a two-strike adjustment. Very compact there. He uses the middle of the field. And this just finds its way into center for a base hit. John Mayberry will stand in now and we'll see what they do about perhaps getting that winning run to second. And a fastball's in there for strike one. Mm, got him out of his front foot. It's 0-2. Take him out of the zone here, and he obliges. Not the greatest of swings there for the first out. Well, you know when you get two strikes on you, you go into that protection mode up there at the plate. Let's see where this pitch winds up. Oh, yeah. That thing's nowhere near the strike zone, and that's a good job of making a guy go fishing for something he didn't really want to hit. And we're going to see a pinch hitter in this spot as the right-handed batting Kevin Franzen begins to loosen up on deck. Here's the first pitch slider that just tails out of the zone. It's ball one. That's what you have to do against a big sweeping slider like that. It starts in the zone, and it's probably going to finish out of the zone. So that's a good job just to lay off. Possible winning run on first. One man away. Started to go around, but it's ruled strike one anyway. Softly to third. This could be two. In time to first, and there are two away. Jimmy Rollins will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. inside with the slider and that'll back him up a bit in there and it's even at one Very high, two and one. <laughs> Be careful not to airmail that thing over your catcher's head. You got to make sure you don't overthrow it. Yeah. 
And this is low, but it's roped in quickly, and that runner will hold at second base. Oh, the good curveball there, and it's three and two. Well, that may have been the last pitch in the at bat that he could do something with. He's not going to get anything better than that. So they can't get that winning run home, and that means free baseball here this afternoon. Nine can't decide a winner. We'll move ahead to the tenth, and we are. Kevin Franzen will stay in the ball game as a new shortstop. Now playing shortstop, number 28. Juan Cruz will come on now as he'll take over to start the extra frames. Donovan Solano will lead it off here in the top of inning number 10. Up and away to start the inning. It's 1-0. Two and zero now. And here's a fastball for a strike. Two and one now. Yeah, a much better pitch there than the one he threw on 2-0. Oh. On a good pitch there, had him stretching to get out there, and it's 2-2 two and two now. Two two pitch on the way. Now a swing, and wouldn't you know it? Here's a ground ball to the guy fresh into the ball game, out of short. Throw to first, gets him one out here to lead off the tenth. We showed you his numbers a minute ago. It's still early in the season to be worrying too much, but he's definitely off to a slow start. So he's going to need to string together a few good outings to lower that ERA a little bit. Giancarlo Stanton will try again. Struck out swinging his last time through. Here's the first pitch to him. And a fastball misses here to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. Swing and a miss for strike one. Yeah, that's a very hittable location right there. Not where you want to be when you're facing a guy like this. And there's a fastball that's hammered the other way to deep right field. And that will clear the out-of-town scoreboard for a home run. A solo home run here off the bat of Giancarlo Stanton. Twelve home runs for him now thus far. As they will take the lead here, it's now a 5-4 ball game.
and I think you could pretty safely put a stamp on his ticket to City Field this July. He continues to be amongst the league leaders in home runs, and he adds one more to the total here. Justin Ruggiano will stand in. He homered back in the second inning of this one. First pitch is a cutter looked at 0-1. Swung on and missed there by Ruggiano, and it's 0-2 now. Too high. One and two. Now the pitch. That's it sharply past the mound and on into center field for a one out single. Well, here we are. It's the second month of the season. And this guy is showing no signs of slowing down. He's got himself another multi hit ball game here. Raul Valdez will come on now as he inherits a runner at first with already one out in the inning. Freddy Sanchez will be the first to greet him here as he'll stand in with a runner at first and one away. Now here's the first pitch. And he'll start him with a high strike here on the fastball on the outside corner. It's 0-1. And... Hmm. A ball outside, apparently. 1-1. One and one. left-hander up and throwing in that Philly bullpen now the 1-1 one, one. and no complaint about that one that's a strike and it's one and two runner at first here one man out on the ground is second on to first, and that'll take care of Sanchez, two away. Matt Downs will get another crack at it here as we flash you back to the ninth inning. The solo home run was a big one as it helped to get us to where we are now in the extra innings. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. First pitch is a curveball that's inside. 1-0. Oh. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. Here's 
Pitch in the dirt, swung on and missed for strike three as they'll need to throw to first here. And the throw is too strong as it's over the head of Howard. Yeah, and as this game has worn on, the conditions have gotten more and more treacherous out there. And here's an error that's a direct result of these conditions, no doubt about it. Greg Dobbs will stand in, base on balls his last time. And there's the fourth wide one, so they'll go after the next guy with a force at any base here and two men gone. And this could really be trouble now because with runners on every base, they've got a chance to really break this thing wide open. Michael Bourne can break this one wide open now if he can find a gap here with the bases loaded. First pitch to him. Starts things here with a changeup for a called strike. Austin Kearns will be called on as a pinch hitter here in a big, big spot. He'll have the bases loaded with two out in the inning. And he catches the inside corner for a called strike. Nothing in one. Now on the mound, this is one of those at-bats where you have to get this guy to give your team any chance. You have to. Base hit here, it's all over. He's ready, now the pitch. Breaking ball is swung on and bounced to short. He'll send it the short way to Utley at second and that's that. So they wind up with two in the inning, but it could have been a lot worse as they leave the bases loaded. So now we'll see if these guys can get even in the bottom of inning number 10. It's the Marlins six and the Phillies four. Steve Ciszek will get the call here in inning later than usual as he'll try to save this one in the 10th. Ben Revere will lead it off now in the home half of inning number 10. And this misses outside and a bit high. One ball, no strikes. Marlins have some action in the bullpen now as a right-hander is up and throwing. Now a ball grounded foul over toward the coaching box. Here's the 1-1 pitch. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's 2-1. and one. Two one pitch is a slider taken for a cold strike two. And now at the plate, here's where you got to put yourself in the pitcher's head and figure out what would I throw on a two and two pitch. Oh. 
Now here's a ball hit sharply toward the right side. And that'll be a base hit for Revere. Michael Young will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Big hole on the right side. Here's the first pitch. First pitch sinker misses in on the hands that time. It's a ball and no strikes. Nobody out, runner on first. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Now on 2-0, we've got a fastball count, and we've got a good fastball hitter. That might spell some trouble if he indeed gets one out over the plate. Here comes the 2-0. A hard hit ball back up the middle. Oh, and this hits the bag at second base. And they won't get an out from this as he's able to reach on a play that you just don't see very often. Carlos Ruiz will dig in. Took a called third strike his last time. Infield a double play depth all around. Here's the pitch. A change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Now he's going to have to punch his way off the ropes now. Now a bunt attempt, but this one might have too much on it. Only played at first till the sacrifice works that time. I don't think you can ask for a whole lot more right here. You get back-to-back -back singles, then a good sacrifice, and just like that, they're set up for what could be a big inning. Ryan Howard will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. Swing and a hot shot towards the hole. And that will get down as he delivers a big one here. It's a base hit. Now the throw comes in to hold that second runner at third. So they're at the corners now with still only one away. And here's a spot where when you've got runners in scoring position, you... Ryan Webb will come on and try to get out of this mess here as there are two on with only one away. Shea Sutley will be the first to greet him here as he'll do so with runners at the corners and only one out. Starts him out with a sinker that's inside, 1-0. He got him to swing early on the change up there as this is skied out towards straightaway right. Stanton has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. And he'll have to hold tight at third, so it'll take a two-out hit now to try to plate that tying run. And you know that third base coach had to at least entertain the idea of sending him, but I think staying put was the right call. I don't think you want to take chances like that as the tying run. Lance Nix will try again. Two for four in the ballgame. In there for strike one, 0 oh and one. Two big outs here, but the tying and winning runs are both out there. 
from the belt, the pitch. Grounded, fouled off to the right side. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And a sinker sinks too much there as it bounces into the catcher's glove. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground towards short. And a base hit and a big one as they've come back to tie the ball game here in the 10th. And they will not get him at third. He's in there with two away as the winning run. John Mayberry will dig in. Strikeout victim his last time. And that misses for ball one. And this one is off the catcher's glove, and that might be a run. Now the 2-0. And again, he'll lay off the pitch below the knees. Ball three. Well, this is just getting worse and worse for him. You certainly don't want to walk the base loaded. Comes with a slider, 3-0, but gets it over for strike one. Not often you'll see a 3-0 slider, but when you need a strike, any pitch will do. The 3-1 pitch. And, oh, that should have been ball four there, but it's a called strike, and that runs things full at 3-2. Hmm. That's a borderline strike right there. And I think that he had one step out of the batter's box headed towards first already. And the payoff pitch is chopped foul at home plate, so we'll do it again. Still three and two. Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. And he strikes him out to retire the side, so we'll play at least one more. So it's two runs on four base hits. No errors and a couple of men left on. No winner yet. On to inning number 11 we go. And we are all even at six apiece. Juan Pierre will try and get something started here in the top half of inning number 11. And he swings under the fastball here as this is popped high in the air back behind short. And so now it starts to be decision time for the Phillies as you get a look at what's left in the bullpen for them. Donovan Solano will try and erase his 0 for, 0 for 4 in the ball game. Now a late square and this is popped up. But a foul ball here, 0 and 1. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. And this 
ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Bunt attempt misses, so it's decision time now. Two and two. And a full count as that misses. It's three and two now. Bunsign still on with two strikes as he puts this one down. Throw's going to go on to first, so a perfect sacrifice there is now the go-ahead run moves into scoring position here. Yeah, the third time's a charm there. You know, after he fails on the first two attempts, they leave the bunt on here, 0-2, oh and, and this time he's able to finally get it down. I bet he's breathing a sigh of relief. Giancarlo Stanton will dig in, needing to find a way to get that go-ahead run in from second base. And this is in the dirt, but Ruiz able to block it nicely. Boy, and a Reagan-era fastball that time, mid-80s, but it's called strike one. Fastball called strike, one and two. Off-speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Go-ahead runs in scoring position here with one away. And he just does manage to fight this one off as it's fouled away. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Good lead off a second there. Now the pitch. And this ball's hit high and deep toward the corner and right. But he's going to get there as he runs it down on the warning track for the second out of the inning. And he's up to third safely now with two gone in the inning. Well, good job there to tag up and advance on the flyout. And that at least moves the go-ahead run to third now with two outs. Justin Ruggiano will stand in. He homered back in the second inning of this one. Starts him out with a changeup for a strike. If there's one guy on this roster who wants the ball in a moment like this, this is the guy. Fastball just misses. It's one and one. Come set. Now the pitch. And this pitch is taken high for a ball here. Couldn't have missed by a whole lot that time, but it's two and one. Oh. 
three and one now. And whatever you do, you can't let that previous call eat at you. You've got to come back with your best pitch here on three and one. Now a good swing there as he sends this one high and deep toward the left field corner. And that's off the left field foul pole. A home run. So a two-run homer down the line in left. His second home run of the game. And it's now an 8-6 ball game. And this is just a fastball right here, but I'm pretty sure it's not where he wanted it. This has got some elevation to it, and that's one of those where you know it's going to be a home run as soon as you let go of it. Antonio Bastardo is going to come on in relief as he'll be making his 20th appearance of the season. Freddie Sanchez will be the first one to greet him as he'll start fresh here with the bases empty following the home run. Now the first pitch. Mm, couldn't quite pull that swing back. He went around for strike one. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and one. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and he shatters the bat as this is hit on the ground. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. And he strikes him out here for out number three, but the damage has been done as now they'll need some extra inning heroics to pull this one out. So it's two runs here on two hits with one of them being the home run. One last shot here as we go to the bottom of the 11th now. It's the Marlins eight and the Phillies six. Evan Reed is on and he'll take over on the mound. Kevin Franzen will get us going now in the home half of the 11th. Now he'll try to bunt his way on, but this is popped up. Bourne is there, and he makes the catch for the out. And this isn't always the way you want to play it here. I mean, it's late in the game. Your guys are losing. Wouldn't be such a bad idea to take a pitch or two. Instead, he chases after the very first pitch, and it's an easy out. Humberto Quintero will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. second pitch is swung on and hit in the air to left and that'll take care of the pinch hitter here for route number two yeah it's starting to look like he's got this one under control just one out away now from a big extra inning victory here on the road Ben Revere will step in singled and came around to score his last time 
Marlins have some action in the bullpen now as a right-hander is up and throwing. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. Now the pitch. And that's right there, and we're even at one. And, oh, look to be a strike on the monitor up here, but that's why I'm not an umpire. It's two and one. drive here is caught and if that's not symptomatic of the way this one's gone the ball game is over well maybe it took them a couple more innings than they had hoped but a win's a win and they get a good one here on the road in 11 innings for one last check of the line score in this extra innings victory. And a good offensive performance here, but I think we can agree on naming this fellow right here as our top player of the game. Yeah, he connected on a couple of long home runs. Really put his guys on his back and carried them to the victory. So that'll about do it for us this afternoon. Thanks to Eric Caro, Steve Lyons, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB 13, the show. To find out more, head to theshownation.com. The Marlins win it 8-6. So long from Philly.